What is going on everyone? It's your boy Codextral and today I'm going to be showing you how to not lag on Fortnite and PUBG. Also this will benefit you in general because uh, it will make your Wi-Fi better uh, which we'll talk a little bit about the ending of the video. Um, how to make your Wi-Fi better and whatnot and this will just help out with all of the devices in general. So if you guys haven't um, subscribed please go ahead and do so uh, like the video share this on your social media because it will help out me entirely uh, to get this channel big and as the channel grows big we'll be one big happy family so without further ado let's go ahead and uh, talk about how we can make you um, not lag so you already have Fortnite or PUBG installed Basically, this will help you out with your iPhones, your iPads, your tablets of Android, um, whatever device that you're using. So I want you to download Speed Test and uh, go towards your Google Play or Apple Store and download that. Next thing is, you have all these apps installed um, and running. Basically. Your Skype is running, Twitter's running, Patreon, Snapchat, so on and so forth. You want to make sure those apps are not running. Um, so all you got to do is hit the home button twice, and you can swipe left or right and make sure uh, you get rid of those apps. So it's not taking too much of your processing power on your phone. And that will, again, this is the same steps with your iPhone or your Android, what have you. Um, now, next thing is, what we want to do is, if you have an app installed and it's running in the background, which you want to go for the iPhone or iOS, it's general, then it's going to be the background app refresh. Um, select the apps that you don't want it to run in the background and just turn them off. Um, this, I don't know the same pathway for a Android um, version, but it's it. There is a background app um, that will be running, and you want to look for that. So, uh, if you don't use apps uh, at all, I don't understand why you have that installed. Just go ahead and uninstall it. If if you're using, if you have an app installed and you're not using it, it doesn't make sense of why you have it installed because it's using your background. Um, it's running in the background, taking that process power. Now. Go ahead and run Fortnite or PUBG and see if that made a difference for you. Um, and if it hasn't, we're going to be talking about how to make your Wi-Fi greater. Because if you have a slow connection, right, then this is where it comes in. So before we talk about that, make sure that you have like a tablet or a phone that's a little bit more up to date. Like I would say at the latest of 2015, maybe 16. Anything older than that, it might not run it. I can't guarantee that. But um, you know, the newer the newer the device you have, it'll more than likely be able to run the the apps. Or you can just check out the system requirement specs on the download apps where um, you guys go to now let's go ahead and talk about Wi-Fi let me go ahead and get this off of the screen just for one moment and I'm gonna tell you how much I hate Wi-Fi but uh, since everyone's using their phones um, this basically we have to come to a conclusion or a solution uh, for the Wi-Fi how to make it better for you I, I just I hate Wi-Fi there's so many problems with it um, I can go on about it basically so this red circle represents your Wi-Fi this red circle represents your Wi-Fi in your home and these brown or dark red circles represents your neighbor's Wi-Fi and I'm gonna deliberately make sure that it goes right inside your bubble so basically your Wi-Fi um, it carries everyone everyone Wi-Fi carries a frequency um, the standard Wi-Fi a 2.4 Wi-Fi which everyone has um, it can uh, the standard Wi-Fi is uh, channels or frequencies is from 1 2 3 4 all the way up to 11 now if you're in an apartment or a high volume place with Wi-Fi everywhere you're gonna have one hell of a problem which would make sense if you try to go on your app try to refresh Facebook and it takes a while to load or if you're trying to play like like PUBG or you know Fortnite and it's not you're still stuck in the loading screen or you're lagging all over the place or even if you're on your Xbox your laptop anything with Wi-Fi that you're connected to and it just takes so long to load this is the problem 
is because you are in a high volume place where everyone has Wi-Fi. Basically, you're on channel 1, 6, or 11. Those are the, the default numbers. What does this mean to you? Basically, these circles, these Wi-Fi's, is interrupting your signal. Um, it's trying to get a clear signal through. And now if we try to illustrate this green circle or this green line, it, it's, not, it's not getting through. So basically, it's all wavy. Now it's not getting a signal through towards your, from your router, your modem, towards your Wi-Fi device, your phone, whatever. So how do we fix this? Basically, we want to change the channels and it'll clear up everything. So um, let's go ahead and um, put that back there. Now let's go. So if we change the Wi-Fi devices or the Wi-Fi channels or frequencies, basically your Wi-Fi will start looking like this. It'll start getting a clear signal. Your neighbors are not going to interrupt your um, signal because Wi-Fi wi is wireless. Basically, Wi-Fi can bounce off of other Wi-Fi if it's on the same frequency. Like, for example, the FCC, the Federal Commission's uh, Communications, or is it Federal Communications Commission's? Anyways, the FCC has only regulated the consumers or residents from channel 1 to 11. Um... And that's on a 2.4 band. Now there's a 5 band, um, but uh, that's that's a different uh, type of technology, and that's so much that's not so much of a problem until more routers and Wi-Fi's start to go up to that uh, that dual band technology. Then I'll just, then this is basically this will apply to the same stuff. So, anyways, the FCC allows you only so much bandwidth while bandwidth, excuse me, so much um, frequency channels while they allow the government a wider range because um, we can't listen on their frequencies and we want they want to keep their frequencies away from residents so they can carry out that signal because if if the government has regulated the um, their frequencies, like police um, radios, and if it's running on the same frequency on the Wi-Fi, they're not going to get a clear signal going through. It's like, hey, how's it going? Uh, there is a mass murder shooting something. God forbid that'll ever happen, but uh, it'll sound like this. Hello, how I need backup. It sounds like that. Um, that's the perfect way to put it. It doesn't sound pleasurable to your ears i know so that's why um government officials have a different um frequency versus residents because you know for emergency reasons they need to have different signals so now thus playing back in this is where you want to change your channel and i'm going to go ahead and show you how to change your channel um it's fairly simple to do and whatnot and you're on channel 1, 6, or 11. Basically, let's go ahead and bring the um, phone back here. And what you want to do is, how do you find your router's IP address or your gateway? It's very simple. Go to your settings, go to your network, um, or the Wi-Fi. Then right here um, on the far right, it'll show the I with the um, blue circle. Hit that. Then it'll say router. Or it might even say gateway for you. And it'll be 192.168.1.1. It's like right there. It'll tell you what your numbers are. You want to punch that number into your Internet Explorer, Safari, Google Chrome, what have you. Once you punch in that number, it will more than likely ask you what is the administrator username and or password. You get the administrator username and or password at the bottom of the modem um, or the side of the modem. There will be a sticker with that information on it, on the modem or router, whatever, um, wherever it's at. Now, um, you put that username and password into the modem, and basically, if we get rid of this... This, it, it, I would say it would kind of look like that, but yours won't look like this because this one's a modded router. I modded my router. Um, if you have CenturyLink or um, 
Comcast, uh, Xfinity. I'll leave links down in the description below and how to show you how to change your Wi-Fi channels and whatnot. So I'm on channel 9. I'm not on 1, 6, or 11. I want to stay away from those common numbers because your neighbors will be on 1, 6, or 11. Now this is where you want to like choose the channel that you want to go on and you're going to be running a speed test. So if 1, 6, or 11 does work out best for you, then choose that. Um, I'm just letting you know that all these channel or all these Wi-Fi's here are on e either one, six, or eleven, and they'll be interfering with your Wi-Fi. It'll just be interfering. Like you, it won't get a clear signal out. That's why you're not loading up a page. That's why um, you're lagging all over the place, or you just have a really slow download. Like your neighbors are either on one, six, or eleven. So try all of them and run a speed test. Now, with the speed test, the better the the higher the number it is, the better you are off. So, run the speed test, and again, the higher the number, um, the better you are off. And um, so, you choose channel one, for example. Even though you should stay away from channel one, you choose channel one. It gives you a two MPBS download. And then, if you change to channel three. Um, it gives you like a 12 MPS download. Then you want channel 3 because it's better than um, um, channel 1. Um, so keep messing around with channels and run a speed test on it. You might even have to reset your router um, or modem for the settings to apply. So, um, and also uh, you just want to make sure if you have the fastest internet on your... Um, fastest internet speed on your package that you signed up for. Um, if you can't log into the Wi-Fi router modem, um, then there's a good chance your parents or whoever owns the internet has changed the, the default login um, that is displayed on the sticker. They, they totally changed that if you're not able to log in. Um, and that's something that you're going to have to address to, the, to whoever's paying the bill. Uh, and, and whatnot. If you guys want to get into that router, uh, this is where I'm going to let you know you can, but you might not have internet if you do this action afterwards. In the back of the modem or on the side of it or on the bottom of it, there is a tiny little hole. Um, usually it's red or it'll say reset on it. Uh, you poke a pin and you hold that down for 30 seconds. Then it'll change that um, administrator username and password back to the default settings. Then you're able to log into the Wi Fi. Um, so be be aware of that, that if you do that action, you might not have internet afterwards. You're probably going to have to call up your um, internet service provider to have them fix that for you, uh, which basically you have to be the owner of the, you have to make sure the owner calls um, the internet company, then they'll be able to assist you. So I'm just letting you know about that. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't be, you know, saying, ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. He didn't warn us. No, I definitely warned you. Um... I hope this helps you guys out and have a better understanding about Wi-Fi and those two quick noob settings that, you know, just makes your app run faster. Hopefully it's just those two, which it commonly is, but if you're just having Wi-Fi problems, this will help out with your gameplay. This will help out with all Wi-Fi devices in general, just not your phone. Um, if you have an Xbox or a laptop that's having problems, um, this will help it out. Um, I'm more than confident that this will help it out a whole lot that will be faster Wi-Fi for you. Um, I, I can go on and uh, talk more about this, but um, <laughs> just Wi-Fi really sucks. If you can put an Ethernet cord to your device, do that. Like, I'm telling you, Ethernet is better than Wi-Fi. Anyone who says that Wi-Fi is better than cable, I'm sorry, but I, I you're, <laughs> you're something special. So, um... Guys, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys can, again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and push this out on your social media, this will help me out a whole ton. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, running till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of